In January 2015, the 114th Congress will take office. However, not all public officials will be returning. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined today by Congressman Howard Coble. He's a Republican from North Carolina who has served in the House of Representatives for 29 years. Congressman, welcome to the program. Good to be here, Robert. Thank so you. So the good thing about it is, is that um, you know the American people recently have spoken. They've spoken very loudly about which government they want for the 114th Congress, but you have decided uh, to retire. Why is that the case? I'm 80, 83 years old, Robert, and I have a bum back. Uh, the, the legislature in North Carolina did their 10-year redistricting program, which weakened my situation somewhat, but I don't think it took me out of contention. But I, I felt that the, the back being not what it used to be, worn out, in other words, I think I'd be better served, and, the, and my constituents would be better served for me to step aside. So, for health reasons, was the main reason why you decided to retire? Mainly the back, yeah. And you know, uh, the question that I ask a lot of retiring members: Are you? Did you retire because of the partisanship, uh, or because of the gridlock? But it sounds like that's not really the case in your case. You you, you examine it correctly. Do you think, Congressman, over your the last almost 30 years in public service here in Washington D.C that the rise of partisanship uh, is at record levels or is it pretty much the same as when you when you entered? I think more the latter. Uh, I'm not overly concerned about the partisanship. We, we're in a, in a republic where there are only two major political parties. I think partisanship is going to be inevitable. You're going to have differences of opinion. And at the end of the day, Go out and have a beer with your adversary. Do you still think that's the case? I mean, I know you served many under many presidents, Presidents Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush now under President Obama. There used to be a time when members of Congress actually knew their colleagues. They went out for a beer, to your point. But it seems like that's not necessarily the case anymore. Do you not, agree with that? Not as much as it was. Mm -hmm. You're right. I don't think it's as bad or as unfavorable, uh, Robert, as the media portrays it. But you're right, back yonder 25, 20, 25 years ago, it was probably more congeniality. Congressman, there are a lot of folks out there that say, you know, I don't recognize the Republican Party anymore, and I don't recognize the Democratic Party anymore. In other words, both parties, some people's assumptions, they've gone so extreme that folks in the middle do not feel like they have a home. Do you agree with that? I don't feel that way personally, but I can see why others might. Uh, when I became involved in politics initially, I ran for the state legislature. Now, back in those days, 1968, back in those days, our elections in North Carolina were determined in the spring primaries, be it April or May. If you were nominated by your party, Democrat or Republican, at that time, you were automatic for November. Not true anymore. And we proved that last week with the astounding Just a few weeks wins. ago with the elections. Just, yeah, just a few weeks ago. And, and now we have a 13-member delegation in the House across the street. Nine, strike that, 10 of them are Republican. Congressman, we have just under 45 seconds left. What are you going to miss the most uh, when you go back home to North Carolina? Not having to be at five places simultaneously. Okay. <laughs> That's the low part of my job. Sure, but sure. But it comes with the job. Sure. Um, are you going to miss the spirit of, of being in, in the middle, being in the midst of, of action and so I'll, forth? I'll miss that. Yeah. Someone admonished me back home the other day, said, why aren't you making plans for retirement? I said, well, I had, hadn't thought about it. He said, for 30 years you've had no spare time. All of a sudden you're going to be having a position where you're going to have nothing but spare time. You better be planning for it. Well, speaking of spare time, Congressman, we wish you nothing but the best in your spare time. And we look forward to seeing you hopefully sometime very soon. Thank you, Robert. Best of luck to you. Appreciate that. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.